Well, we've walked into a, a club that has a lot of um, confidence at the minute and a lot of spirit and uh, the boys have been really bouncy in training this morning and uh, and obviously there's a, a very, very talented squad of, of footballers. Could you see from the outside how this team had lost its way? I mean, the defensive record is, is still what it is. Yeah, I mean, it's like any football team that, you know, players can lose confidence if they lose football matches and I think there was a run of games when that happened so or certainly didn't win enough football matches um, but re in recent weeks the last four games Lee's done a terrific job um, he's brought the group together they've started winning um, and everybody's in confident and buoyant mood How does it work from here? Obviously Steve's away until the first you and the other Stephen are here and Lee Bullen too how will it work between the, the four of you? Who Great. picks the team? Yeah, I, I think obviously Steve's here on the first. Um, we've worked, both Stephen Clements and myself have worked with uh, with Steve Bruce um, for a number of years at different clubs. So we know each other inside out. Uh, all we're doing really is relaying uh, his messages across to the players. And Lee's been terrific with the group. He's given us, obviously, his um, inside knowledge of the group. and um, So everything's been helpful, everything's been positive. Uh, we've only had 30, 40 minutes with the players this morning, which has been very enjoyable. What are your key, well, Steve, between the three of you, what are the key things that need addressing quickly then if the current upward curve is to continue and be improved upon? Well, I think all we need to do is obviously there's been momentum built over the Christmas period and the, the run of games there. So all we have to do is continue with that momentum. Um, can we improve in certain areas in terms of defending, attacking, whatever? Yeah, I'm sure we can. Um, but again, if, if, if in recent weeks it's been really good, which I think it has, and I think the supporters have enjoyed watching the team play, uh, we continue in the same vein and and drip feed ideas that that hopefully will improve the team's performances. Can you give an insight into to what that will be? So, a month, six weeks, two months from now, the the team will play in in what type of way? If you get everything you want and it all ticks ticks along nicely. Well, I think what you see is you see a talented group of players that that can all handle the ball, and um, in a midfield area, the top end of the pitch is goal scorers, um, and as you've seen in recent weeks, the back four of and the goalkeepers have have kept. Um, the shots to a minimum and clean sheets consider very few goals. Um, so I think, you know, in time, I think the, the supporters will seem a, see a very, very attractive team to watch. Uh, obviously, uh, from a football point of view, you want clean sheets and you want to win 5-0 every week. But uh, we know that's not possible. Um, but yeah, we'll just improve on all aspects of the play, but certainly give the supporters a team that they come down and enjoy watching play. So Luton then, the FA Cup, what's your assessment of, of them as a League One challenge tomorrow? Very good, very good team, very good offensively. Uh, they play a certain style, that they've had a, a promotion and now they're very close to the top of League One. So not to be underestimated at all, really good footballers, capable of scoring goals. So we, we will have to be at our best. Um, but seeing what I've seen this morning, a little bit of work we've done with the players, I think they're up for it. You know, I think they fancy uh, a cup tie, a, a, you know, a, a good crowd, a good atmosphere at Hillsborough. Um, then I think it'll be an exciting game of football, a difficult game of football, but one that we hope that we can uh, progress into the next round.